Do you have your parenting plan in place for the holidays? Do you know exactly what's going to happen when the kids are home from school? Hopefully everything's arranged, everyone has clear expectations, and there's no stress in terms of what's going to happen over the holidays, but we know that life happens, and we can't predict everything. So what if, yeah, yeah, you do have a parenting plan in place, but what if one of the parents needs a little added flexibility? So maybe a new event or tradition popped up, or maybe the, the parent needs help with the transitions, the drop off or the pickup because something's going on with them, or maybe there's just something going on where they need some added flexibility from you, how do you react? Do you say, too bad, so sad, it's my day, you, we can't switch? Do you say, too bad, so sad, pick them up, drop them off, and if you can't do it, I guess I'll keep them? No, of course you don't. What you think about is, what's the big picture here? What's in the best interest of the children? Is there this specific new event, something that the children would like, and why would you stop it, really? I mean, if it's unless it's really interfering with your plans, if there's a possibility that you could switch days with the other parent, why not? Why not create goodwill and a sense of peace and a sense of appreciation in the other parent that you're actually listening to them and you're allowing them to change the flex, uh, change the schedule without any drama? Because who needs drama at this time of year? Wouldn't it be great if you guys could cooperate and somehow that started a new spiral of goodwill? positivity and added flexibility because that's what we all need. Sometimes things happen that we can't control and we need flexibility or assistance. You brought in these two these children together and so there's still the parent the other parent for your your children and you want your children to be happy. If that parent is happy, that's going to translate in how they react and they treat your children. And so it's also in your best interest to see that the other parent is happy and that you're cooperating as much as you can so that, again, the children's best interests are at heart. And if you don't happen to have a parenting plan in place as we're approaching uh, Christmas, the courts are full of people that are battling it out. Don't be one of those people. Go to a mediator, try to settle as amicably, amicably as possible and try to get to it as soon as you can because you don't want that stress lingering and lingering till the very last minute. I wish you a very happy holiday season.